Well, this Super Bowl Sunday, local bars and restaurants are bound to those strict restrictions when it comes to how patrons can enjoy the game. News 8's Jacqueline Francis checked in with local spots about how they plan to pull off watch parties while still playing by the rules. Sports bars around town are gearing up for the big game by preparing for a small crowd, doing all they can to ensure that this Super Bowl Sunday is a safe one. <laughs> this Super Bowl Sunday, going out to watch the game will be super different. Local bars and restaurants having to come up with a new playbook for the typically jam-packed day. The challenge for us is going to be communicating with our guests as they arrive. We want to give them a great experience when they get here, and so by you know clarifying that when they arrive. At Pepino's in downtown Grand Rapids, the state's 25% capacity limit means there will only be 100 seats in the house. But the biggest challenge will be enforcing the strict 10 p.m. curfew. The general manager saying patrons will have to be out by that time, even if the game isn't over. We are really hoping that maybe halftime is going to be a little shorter. Um, it'd be really good if the game would be out by 10. Um, but we're also going to be following, you know, the state's mandate. Both Pepino's and East Town Sports Bar have started taking reservations in preparation for the scaled down game day. We will see a crowd, but it won't be as big as last year compared to last year. While Michigan is known for its strict COVID restrictions, some West Coast bars and restaurants won't be screening the game at all. Los Angeles County banning big screen TVs in hopes of preventing large Super Bowl gatherings. Back in West Michigan, many sports bars are just happy to be open again in time for the big game. We are doing our best to ensure that we don't contribute to another industry shutdown by following the rules and still being able to uh, give guests a great experience when they come to Pinos. For those who choose to stay in the Super Bowl Sunday, the state's top health officials say that any gathering should be limited to two households total. That, in addition to taking other precautions like mask wearing and social distancing. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Jacqueline Francis, News 8.